Hello everybody, Mr. President here, and today I am bringing you a tutorial on how to reduce micro stuttering and lag on the AMD Radeon RX 5700 XT graphics card. And that definitely is a mouthful to uh, say all at once. So, if you enjoy this video, if it helps you out, be sure to leave a comment, a like, and think about subscribing, check out my channel because I post regular gaming videos um, and funny moments with my friends. So, let's dive into things. First, I'm going to run through the Radeon settings. So, usually you have it running, the Radeon software, you have it running in your background. Um, if you don't, you can just type in AMD Radeon software and find it here. So, I'm going to open this up, and for me, it already took me to the custom settings, but I'll show you how to get there. You want to make sure that your driver is up to date with the recommended version, not the most recent because the recommended is generally Windows certified and it runs better with Windows products. So you want to go to gaming, global graphics, and then set it to custom. Um, a lot of times it'll set it to one of these other options. Just set it to custom. Um, if you can't, just click on gaming and then run through and I highly recommend these settings. They work for me. They might work for you. Um, if they don't, just test them out and see what works better. So, anti-lag, I have disabled. This one's an optional thing, and it kind of just depends on what runs better game to game. And then this chill setting, I have disabled, boost, disabled. Image sharpening, I personally have this enabled, but it generally doesn't impact your performance. Enhanced sync disabled and wait for vertical refresh always off now the important part is this advanced section down here you want to click on the advanced area and this is where things are important anti-aliasing I have set to use application settings anti-aliasing method multi sampling anti this morphological anti-aliasing disabled and then you want to disable anisotropic filtering, texture filtering quality, performance, surface format optimization, disabled, tessellation mode, override application settings, and then you want to change the maximum tessellation level to off. OpenGL triple buffering, disabled, 10-bit pixel format, disabled. And that is all you're going to have to do for this, so you can exit out of that window. And the second big step is you're going to go to the Windows Start and you're going to right click on the Windows button down at the bottom left, click search, and you are going to search for game mode. And you're going to click on this game mode settings. And you're just going to switch this game mode to off. Then you can close out of that, go back to the search, type in graphics settings, and usually it'll pop up for best match. You click on that, and this is the really important step that really helped my game performance. So, normally you're not going to see anything here, but I'm going to show you the two types of applications um, that you use this for. It's either a Microsoft Store app, so let me just remove a Microsoft Store app like Sea of Thieves or Minecraft, or a desktop app. So, the Microsoft Store, really simple. You just select that type of app select an application so let me add minecraft and then you just click the add button now i want to add sea of thieves so i look for sea of thieves in this scroll wheel and i click add now if you notice these two applications say let windows decide and you're going to decide how your computer uh, runs the graphics card it's either going to be battery saving or power saving or performance mode Generally, this what let Windows decide chooses the power saving, which is not what we want and causes more micro stuttering. So you're going to want to click on the options. Um, so options, and then change all of these applications to high performance. And this greatly helped me with the micro stuttering. And then let me just remove Raft. And I'll show you how to add a different type of application because it can be a little bit more tricky. So let me go and open Raft. Okay. 
All right, so it's running in the background. Um, to add this application, because you're going to have to click this browse and look for, <laughs> that's funny, it's already popped up, and you're going to have to look for the application itself, the .exe file. But that can be really tough because it's a Steam game and you have to search through your whole computer to find it, and that's just nearly impossible. So the quickest way I found to do this is I'm going to leave this browse thing open, this browse section open off to the side. I'm going to right click on the Windows Start button and click Task Manager. Now I have all my tasks open. If you don't see it like I see it, how all these background tasks, you can click the More Details button. And this will help you see the tasks. You're going to right click on the task or the game and you're going to click Open File Location. And it's going to pop up with another menu, uh, another folder that gives you where the game is. It sends it right to where your, your computer's running it. And you're going to select this, just highlight all of this up here. And you're going to copy and paste it into this other folder menu on the other side where you're browsing. And pasting that, hitting enter, takes you right to the game. Then you're going to select Raft and add it and again you have to let Windows decide and you just want to change that to high performance sometimes the game uh, when you click when you right click it it says open file location or it says it but it's grayed out sometimes you have to click under there and the option usually it means there's another application running under the name raft or whatever game it is and you just need to select the game and then click on that open file location um, and that is really it that really helped me in doing all this so I do it with all of my games that I have downloaded Here, I'll close out a raft I do that with all of my games I have downloaded and it's greatly helped me in how they run in Borderlands 3 was running horribly uh, almost unplayable but it said I was getting like 90 frames on high graphics but it looked nothing like 90 it looked like it was under 30 this really helped me with micro stuttering with fixing that because now my computer is saying to put this on high performance mode there is one last thing now that I think about it I'm gonna open that Radeon software and I'm going to go over to the performance tab and here's the GPU here and I'm gonna click tuning and this is on automatic and I'm actually going to switch it to manual and the reason I'm gonna do this is because I'm gonna mess with the fan tuning my computer originally had it set to this and so my fans will never run at 100 percent and this is kind of an issue because if it overheats your computers not gonna take control of it and it's not gonna help it so generally I would you could either do the simple and you want to make sure your max fan speed is all the way up personally I don't mess with anything else I'm pretty sure I'm gonna break something if I try I just want to mess with this fan tuning make it so my max fan speed is up and I'm gonna hit apply changes if you want to control more make this a smoother curve so that your GPU kinda cools down a little bit better you can do that um, but generally, I just keep this as max fan speed like that because for whatever reason, this card was only set to run at 48% of the fan speed. So these changes greatly help my performance in games. Sure, it's not still the greatest because AMD's drivers are not the greatest. If this video helped you in fixing this issue or reduced it or even made it worse, uh, feel free to make a comment, suggestion, and I will do my best to reply, but this is what has helped best for me, and it was able to help me and greatly reduce things, and this is a common issue that I've tried many solutions to, and this setting of going in and changing things to high performance is what made the biggest difference. So I, I think it's the most important step, but if you enjoyed this, if it helped you, leave a like, check out the rest of my channel for more gaming videos and funny moments, and I hope this helped you out. 
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.